Okay, so what we're going to be learning now, okay, we're going to be learning, we're going to be learning iterations, also known as loop, okay? Loop is something you repeat something more than once, okay? Same thing as iteration, same, same word, iteration same, means the same thing. Iteration is when you want to repeat something, you want to do a, a section of code or a line of code, you want to repeat that many times you want, okay? In some cases, you might want to repeat a certain number of times, which you want to, you decide. I want to repeat uh, one line or two lines of code. I want to repeat that two times, three times, five times. You know a specific number, how many times you want to repeat. That's called a control loop, okay, or control iteration. There's other times you can, you want to loop something, repeat something, you have to perform a iteration, and you don't know how many times. It's probably based on a condition. It's called a conditional iteration, okay, or it's called open-ended loop. You're looping, you don't know how many times it's been looped. It depends on the user. So there are two types of loop. One, control, you decide, the programmer decides how many times you want to repeat. And open-ended or con conditional loop where the user decides how many times, okay, is going to repeat something, a, a line of code or a section of code. Is it understood? Okay, so the one we're going to do now, right now, okay, is called a control loop. We know how many times we want to repeat this. As a programmer, we're going to decide how many times do you want to repeat this. And the one we're going to learn is called a for loop. Okay? So to do a for loop, or because we know how many times we're going to repeat, okay, we want to create a, 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 a variable where we can count how many times it gets repeated. So the first thing we need to do, we need to create a variable. And when we are counting, we need to create a variable. What type of variable do we have to create? integer variable okay because numbers so I declare a variable and we're just going to call it simply just call it x as integer okay so we have the variable and the next thing you need to do to start your for loop okay you just simply write the word for and then you declare where do you want your counter to start from so you say x is equal to you can start from zero you can start from one, okay, it's all up to you, okay? You want to start, let's start from zero, and then you say, when do you want it to stop? Zero to, let's say five, okay? Zero to five, which means this is the beginning of your loop, and this is where your loop ends, okay? Whatever is in between, whatever the code you write in between these two lines, would be repeated zero to five times. Zero is included, which means six times. Okay? So if I just simply say, for example, if I just write a line, console dot write line, and if I just write, say, for example, hello world, okay? And now I'm just going to put one more line to keep the user screen. And if I run this program, okay, if I run this program, what would I get on the user screen? Yes. Hello world six times. Time. That's what I'm expecting. So if I run this program, okay, you can see, you can see this line, okay, this hello world, this line is being repeated six times. Why? Because there's an iteration there. Okay, this has been repeated six times. Okay, so how does it work? Well, what I'm going to do now is basically just to show you what happens to this x when you use a for loop. What happens to this variable? This is actually a variable. What happens to this variable? I'm just going to include the variable x there and see what happens. We're going to see the counting of it, the way it goes. So we're going to put extra one on one line. I'm going to display the value of x. Okay? And I'm going to write x is and I'm going to display the value of whatever the variable x holds. So to do that to display the value whatever the the, the value that is held by the variable x put an and sign and then just simply write the variable name. Okay, so now if I run this program, what do you think I'm going to get on the user screen? Yes, uh, 
Yes, okay, so we're going to get, first it's going to display this one, hello world, because it's console.write line, it will skip to the, uh, do a return cursor, and then it will go to the next line, and it will display one. Okay, so, sorry, it will start from zero, it will say zero. Then you will keep on doing that, then say hello world, one, X is 1, hello world, X is 2, hello world, X is 3, and that's why I'm expecting. If I run the program, let's see if it does that. You can see, okay, did exactly that. Hello world, X is 0, because in the beginning, when the uh, for loop starts, X star, I, I declared the X should start from counting from 0. X is 0, okay? So what happens, right? The just to go into a bit, bit more, okay, what we're going to do, we're going to step in, and you can see better. So if I step in, I'm just going to reduce this to a, a smaller number, so okay, let's, do, let's do one, two, three times, so you can see. We don't have to do too many iterations. Right, so if I step in, Okay, if I step in, beginning of the program starts, okay, and the declaration of variable x will take place, okay, now the loop starts, okay, this is the iteration, beginning of your iteration, it starts from here. When it executes this, this, this line, the, it says, okay, I know, iteration, I have to repeat something from here to here, how many times? Start from 1 and finish at 3, okay, 3 is included, so start from 1, finish at 3. So, before you start, assign 1 to x. x will become 1, okay? So, at the moment, okay, you see 0 in the x. Look, look, sooner this line is executed, x will become 1. Step in, okay? Now, it will execute this line. If you point at the x, you can see the value of x has become 1 now. x is 1 now. So, remember that. So, they will execute this line. It will display hello world onto the user screen. Display hello world, it did that. The next thing, it will display, console dot right line display, and of course this is the text version of it, x is, and then whatever the variable x contains, that would be displayed. So you will display that first part, x is, and then you will display whatever the var var variable x contains, you will also display that. If I execute, step in, okay, you can see x is 1, because we know x is 1, okay. Now, there's two things happen here. Okay, these two things happen here. Number one, the first thing happens on this, uh, uh, when it hits next, the first thing happens is, it does some, it, it increments the variable x by one. Incre increments the variable, this variable x by one. Okay, as soon as you execute this line. And the next thing it does, it makes a check. It says, is x, okay, is x greater than three? If it is, I'm not doing any more. If it's equal to 3, it will do 3 also. Less than 3, I will carry on doing uh, iteration. I'm keep on repeating. Is it understood? Okay. So at the moment, x is, we know, is 1. It's less than 3. It's not even equal to 3. So it will go back and repeat. And obviously, like I said, the first thing which it does, what's the first thing it does? It does two things. What's the first thing it does? Add 1 to, to variable x. At the moment, x is 1. If I execute this line, x becomes 2. You can see x is 2 now, okay? So now, it will execute this line, hello world, okay? It displayed on the user screen. Then it will display, console.write line, x is, and then whatever the variable x it contains. What does variable x contain? 2. It will display 2, okay? It did that. There you go, x is 2. Execute the next line, okay? So it did the next line, quite, went through quite fast. Because it executed this line, what are the two things that it did? Number one, it did, okay? Add one to the variable x, x becomes, x becomes three. You can see x is three there, okay? X becomes three. And what are the second thing it does? Checks. If x is greater than 3, if it is, it would not go back and do these things. 
is not, therefore it's carrying on. So we display console dot right line hello world again. Okay? And then it will display console dot right line x is again whatever the va value the variable x con contains, it will display that too. So it displays that x is three. Now what happens here again? Two things it does. Can someone remind me the first one? Yeah. First one, what does it do? Add one to what? Variable x. Whatever the variable x is, it adds one to it. At the moment, x is three. Okay, x is three. So therefore, it will add one to it. Okay, and then it will check whether it should repeat or not. Okay, add one to it. No, once you add one to it, it becomes four. I don't want to go back there again. I don't want to repeat again. I am over the value, which is two, which is three. I am over than that. Okay, I don't want to repeat this anymore. And of course, you will carry on executing the next part of the program, which is console.readline, and then you will end the program. Okay, is that understood? Is that understood? Any question? Any question? No?